Hey guys, what's up? Toba Loco here. Welcome back to the 2006 FIFA World Cup Germany game. And today we're going to be doing a run with Lithuania. It's been put in the comments quite a lot, mainly by the same person. But at least he's been sort of like, you know, not super spam with it. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to make this guy's day and actually do the run that he wanted. So he said either 2006 World Cup for some reason or um, Euro 2020 DLC. I don't actually own the Euro 2020 DLC for uh, eFootball. I can't actually get my hands on it anymore apart from a physical copy. And my Xbox One is a digital Xbox only, meaning that it doesn't have a disc tray. Just to let you know before we start, it is on the highest difficulty, it's on world class, that's the highest it goes up to on this game. Alright, so there's Lithuania, we're going to use them today. And these are the groups that um, I guess were the real groups in 2006. You never really know with 2006 World Cup because um, it's missing a hell of a lot of teams on this game. It's very um, basic compared to the rest of them. But we're going to do what we usually do and randomise it. And I'm going to fully randomise it. I'm not going to seed and randomise it. Just to have a bit of fun, I guess. A bit more fun, you know. It's a bit more crazy when it's not seeded. So in three, two, one, boom. And we're in a group with, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I saw Portugal in group three. Republic of Ireland, France, Liechtenstein, Hungary, Andorra, and then we got Lithuania there as well. I will take that. I will take it. You know, I'll try my best. So taking a look at the Lithuania squad quickly before we get into this match against France. The only player that I know on the Lithuania squad is um, Sesnauskas. Um, I think it's Edgar Sesnauskas, this guy here, maybe. And Denevikius as well, if I pronounce that correctly. Um, just only because of my 2010 run that I did about three years ago now. Here we go then, France versus Lithuania. We're away from home for this one. And I just wanted to address something that a couple of people have picked up on with the 2006 World Cup game. A lot of people said to me, Oh, Tobaloko, please don't play the Xbox. Xbox 360 version as it's not the best version of this game please play the original Xbox version or the PS2 version unfortunately I bought the original Xbox version and I put it in the Xbox that I have you know because obviously 360 sometimes is compatible with um, uh, previous Xbox games and it works to a degree but every time I go and select a team it crashes every single time. France versus Lithuania here we go I've noticed that the scoreboard at the top has changed to a French theme uh, scoreboard which is pretty cool that's a nice little touch there by EA. Come on Lithuania let's try and get an upset here against France you can do it right? Good shot and good save by Coupe and goal I think the best we can hope for in this match is a draw. Um, we've already had one shot, but it wasn't the best of shots. I am struggling a little bit with the mechanics at the moment. Again, it's not very often that I play this game compared to 2010 and 2014. So I do apologise if the gameplay might be a little bit boring at the start of this video. But I guarantee, I hope so anyway, that it will get better. We're going to cross this one in with Lithuania and it's a free header off the bar and it's an own goal. It's an own goal by Toran and that is, well, I mean, I would say that's terrible with defending. But on this game, for some reason, when you pick up the ball and you're sprinting, it takes a while to turn around. And I guess he got a little bit unfortunate, but I will take that in this situation against France. That is is 1-0. Well, shockingly, at half-time, France are 1-0 down thanks to a own goal by Toram. Can they pick themselves up and beat Lithuania here? Come on. Upfield. Through ball, no. Another one, perhaps? No. Just haven't been able to get through. Of course, you know, with France, it's a little bit more difficult. They are one of the best teams in the group alongside Portugal. But we're doing well to hold on to them. It's going to be another corner to Lithuania. Let's hope for another own goal. 87th minute is crossed in. It's headed and go on. Oh, it's gone over the bar. I thought that he was going to get that because look, Coupe was on the floor. And that was just a simple tap in. I don't know how you missed that. And that is going to be it. Lithuania have just got a shock win against France. 
they didn't score any goals. It was France that actually scored the only goal of the game, but it was an own goal. And, well, I can't really believe that we just beat France. And that's three points on the board already. Well, after that shock win against France, can we get another win against Hungary away from home? Hungary just beaten Andorra, so they're joint top of the group with us at, as it stands. I thought Lithuania were okay in the last match. We held France quite well. Defensively on this game, though, most of the time on this game, it's just a case of holding the button for defending, which is really, like, super simple, of course. Um, I just wish that you were able to play on perfect difficulty in the tournament, sort of mode you can't for some reason you can't play perfect difficulty in the actual tournament mode you can only play it in kickoff because it's like a a bonus feature the Puania here out to the wing come on cross that in it's headed oh good save that was like a lightning header but still we managed to save it very good goalkeeping We've got through ball here and good save and it's gone in. Lithuania have scored and Jan Kalsis, or however you say it, has scored to make it 1-0. A deflection, pretty much. We just shot and um, Kiralai could not keep it out for the second attempt. And um, that is 1-0. Well done, Lithuania. And this time it was actually from a player from our team who are scoring the goal. So, great improvement from Lithuania. Didn't think I'd be doing this well so far. But Hungary have had no shots. We've had three. Like I said, it's incredibly easy to defend on this older 2006 World Cup game. And it's so exploitable as well, this game. <laughs> like, I just put that one wide. But one through ball and I was able to just uh, go on through and nearly tap it in. Liechtenstein, I've got one against Portugal. That's pretty good. I'm hoping to see some random qualifiers in this one, like as in from the European bit, because I've randomised it, the groups should be pretty wacky considering I did a, um, a fully randomised sort of group tournaments thing. So hoping for some crazy results and some crazy qualifications from some of the groups. And that's going to be it, another 1-0. I mean, it might be boring, but it's still three points again we just beat in the hungarians away from home fantastic for lithuania that's six points in total third match of the group is against Liechtenstein. we're at home for this one pretty much all the stadiums look the same on this game don't they they didn't have a great variety of stadiums on this game but this should be a winnable game an absolutely winnable game i don't care if it's only one nil again but we just need to win this one Great tackle by Lithuania and given away so easily. But then they give it away and that's saved and just about uh, stopped there. And Liechtenstein will probably go into half time holding on to a nil nil. That's quite respectable from them. We need to do some more work with our midfield and passing game. We're just not doing it and not giving the strikers the greatest service in the world, I'd say. Fribble. And yeah, we just got there just about, but Liechtenstein tackled me again. And they gonna hold me here. They might. They're doing quite well. So far anyway. Come on. Lithuania cross it in. It's not headed. Headed again, and that was a weak attempt. What have we done in this game? Absolutely nothing. So we come to play Liechtenstein. <laughs> And they're like, yep, yeah, we're the best team in the group. We've held you, Lithuania. I guess it's a lack of firepower and service from the midfield as well. Liechtenstein have done well to hold me here. They might even win the game if they get a decent cross. Crossed in. And please clear it. Okay, just clear it. Okay, whatever. It's a nil-nil. Really, really boring. But again, that's what this game is like sometimes. It's very low scoring unless... You know, you're very, very good at it. I'm not. <laughs> I just drew against Liechtenstein. Next match is against the Republic of Ireland. Let's see if we can try and bounce back from that disappointing draw against Liechtenstein. Ireland pressing, but again, cut out. And cut out there. It's just loads of defensive plays, but Ireland have shown flashes of brilliance in the first 25 minutes. Lithuania trying their hardest to get past. And here we go. Is there a cross on? 
And just over the bar there from Lithuania. Could have done a little bit better there. So through ball. And Republic of Ireland are trying, but no, just tackled. So easy to tackle. If you've got the right players at the back, they'll just always do it, regardless of who it is. And we're going to go into half-time again in a very uneventful half. It's still nil-nil. The gameplay is kind of lacking a little bit. 2006 is always like this. It always is, you know. Whenever someone asks to do 2006, I kind of just think, yeah, we could be playing on 2010 and 2014. But, okay, I don't, I don't mind it. Of course, I don't mind it at all. But it is one of my least favourites, I'd say, in terms of action on higher difficulties of course if you want to play it on lower difficulties it's really really quite fun but you know just for the runs and stuff it needs to be on higher difficulties well i mean if you have trouble sleeping at night you can come back to this stage of the video and watch it you might be able to fall asleep after that possibly because this match has not been a good one and the lichtenstein one as well i do apologize for that but there is one chance here crossed in Ah, oh, come on, Given. Really? <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to draw against Republic of Ireland. Another nil-nil. Lithuania, one of the most boring two matches I've ever played. Double nil-nils. Oh, that, <laughs> that's not good, man. That's not good. Our next matchup is against Andorra, and we are at home for this one. Can we please score a goal, Lithuania? Please? You know... It's, it's against Andorra. We should be scoring. That's a good through ball. And Andorra almost caught me off guard then. Through ball. Come on. We need goals. Come on, Lithuania. Hey, there we go. Finally, we scored. And Jan Kalsis has scored to make it 1-0 to Lithuania. Finally. Finally, a goal. We had a dry spell for like two, three matches nearly. And finally here against Andorra, we get the goal. Lithuania are struggling for goals. The top, Andorra, trying to press, trying to ruin this scoreline that we have. Only a 1-0. Lithuania at the moment don't seem the most convincing of teams, to be honest. They really don't. Only like one goal a match. That's not good enough. What happened? What happened? Oh, it just ended? The game was playing around and then it just suddenly cut to the replay. Okay, that's a 1-0 against Andorra. Uh, okay, that's really strange. But again, only another 1-0. We had five shots, but we just couldn't get more goals. And yeah, like I said earlier, I just don't think Lithuania are the most convincing of nations so far. Big matchup coming up. It's against Portugal. Can we beat them here? I just checked the table and I believe we're close to the top because we haven't actually lost the game. So, yeah, we just keep drawing games pretty much and winning by one goal to nil. I do sort of apologise for not really scoring a lot of goals, but, you know, such is life, such is the run, you know? Like, the run can be good or bad. Come on. Get away from Portugal here. Cross that in. Hey, there we go. We scored. And that's Jan Kalsas again. He scored against Portugal. A header. And that is 1-0. Here we go. Come on. This is where Lithuania shine. Come on. Good cross. Exploitable as anything. And into the back of the net there. Portugal have a corner. It's going to be crossed in. And, okay, that was a really quickly taken corner. And at half time, it's 1-0 to Lithuania. How about that? That's a really good start. We didn't have many more chances after that goal, to be honest. So, Portugal had sort of half a chance. But again, look at the shots we've had. Only one. Portugal have had zero. And it's just far too easy to defend on this game. It really is. It's just a case of holding the button. At least on 2010. Like, yes, it is a case of holding the button. But it's more advanced than that. Like, the computer actually plays well. And can outsmart you at times. Looks like it's going to be another 1-0 win. We can't score more than 1-0. I mean, against Portugal, it kind of makes sense. Because they're way better than us. But at the same time, like, they didn't do anything really against us. Like, maybe a shot or two. But... Nothing really to test us or whatever. And that's a huge three points for Lithuania. 
All right then, so let's have a look at the groups at the halfway point in this qualification campaign in Europe. So, in Group 1, or Group A if you prefer, Italy are running away in that group with 15 points. Iceland do have a game in hand, and they're set on 9 points. Macedonia, with 6 games played, have 9 points. So have Wales. Poland with 7. It's quite close, really, for that second place spot in Group 1. Very, very close. It'll be interesting to see how that plays out. In Group 2, Russia again are running away with it. Denmark are only just behind them though with a game in hand and 11 points as well. Azerbaijan doing quite well in that group. The rest of the group are quite close apart from Scotland. How has Scotland not won a game in that group? Maybe, it, you know, it's 2006 Scotland, I, I guess, I don't know. Maybe they weren't that good, <laughs> but that's terrible from Scotland in that group. In group three, this is our group, we have 14 points. Republic of Ireland have got a game in hand and they're only one point behind us. So they could be in a battle with us for that first place position. Look at the goal difference as well. We've only scored four goals and conceded zero. Republic of Ireland have scored 10. Most of these teams have scored more goals than us and we're still at the top of the table. We're really just here winning 1-0s and drawing 0-0 all the time. It's, it kind of sucks but it's fascinating at the same time. Uh, France and Portugal have both got 9 points, Liechtenstein have 5, Hungary with 4 and Andorra with 0. In Group 4, Malta our top of that group, unbeaten in that group, and most of the teams in that group are better than Malta as well, so fair play to Malta there. Hopefully they can continue the great form they're in and qualify for the World Cup. In Group 5, Norway are unbeaten in that group, Turkey just behind them, the Faroe Islands, a little bit of an outsider, um, Kazakhstan as well I guess for that second place position. Belgium and Belarus are not doing too well, but Belgium have a game in hand. In Group 6, England are top of that group with 15 points. Switzerland have 10 points in second place. Serbia and Montenegro have got 6, so have Croatia. Slovakia have 4 and Latvia with 3. In Group 7, Spain are winning that group currently. Ukraine, Greece and Georgia are quite close to each other. Austria just off the pace, but it's not unthinkable to get back into that race for second place. And Bosnia and Herzegovina with zero points. And in the last group, the Netherlands are running away at that group at the moment. Czech Republic, Israel, Luxembourg, San Marino and Romania are all very close with each other. I'm hoping that either Luxembourg or San Marino can do it. That would be awesome. Alright then, so we are at the reverse fixtures. For this campaign, we're over the halfway point and we've got Liechtenstein for our next match. A team that we couldn't beat in the first round of games. Let's see if we can change that and beat them here. It's Are we away from home? Liechtenstein Stadium seems super big for a nation like Liechtenstein. Like I said at the start, the stadium variety isn't the best. Come on, crossed in. Header. Go on, yes, diving header and that's gone in. And Cesnauskas has scored to make it 1-0 against Liechtenstein. Goalkeeper saved it, but he was on the floor and he just came in and headed it in to make it 1-0. Okay, that's a great start. Can we get more than one goal though, please? It would be very fascinating to qualify for the World Cup having the lowest goal difference in the group. Imagine that, just qualifying for the World Cup with nil-nil draws and one nils. Here we go. Lichtenstein's box here again. Oh, okay, he was on the floor and then he wasn't. Crossed in again, header, and it's caught by the Liechtenstein keeper. We've actually peppered their goal in this half and yet still only find ourselves up by one goal. It's almost like Lithuania just get the one goal and then they just don't know how to play football ever again. It's really strange. I'm trying my hardest to get this goal, another goal that we need, and make the gameplay just that tad more interesting. Go on. Go on, Lithuania. No, this goalkeeper just doesn't want us to score again. I mean, I guess that's his job, but again, 
We're gonna win 1-0, another 1-0. Lithuania only know 1-0s or 0-0 draws. It's never 2-0 or a 2-1 or a 3-2 or anything like that. No, just 1-0. It's incredibly consistent, but at the same time, I'm just gonna get a lot of complaints saying that this is like, you know, the worst gameplay ever or whatever. But hey, you know, we're still on course to qualify and that's the main goal, right? We've gone from 76th in the world to 68th in the world in the FIFA rankings, so that's pretty good. Okay, so our next match for Lithuania is against France. Hopefully, we can win again via an own goal, but I don't think that's going to happen again. I think France will be coming back with a vengeance to try and pull me down the group so that they can reclaim their position in the top two places. Trezeguet on the ball. Up to Vieira. Dorasu. Crosses it in. No, not quite. And um, we can push up here. Through ball. <laughs> right through the French defence. And Jankalsis. Oh, no. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> Almost got the rebound, but there was a bit of a mix up there. So, <laughs> Lithuania and France are drawing 0 0. Did you expect anything more at the moment from Lithuania? Like. Even in some of my previous runs I've done on this game with, um, let's say, like, DR Congo, for example, like, the first few games I was winning 1-0 and stuff like that, but then after that I was winning, like, 2-3, 4-nil a game, maybe a 2-1 here and there, losing as well by, like, three goals, I think, in one of the matches, I think. But, yeah, it's just... <laughs> this has just been consistent... Very impressive, but at the same time, there's just not a lot of action. Can we tackle him? Out to Henri. Crosses it in. Header. Good save. All right. France have had a couple of attempts, but our goalkeeper has stopped them. Through ball. And that's offside. Man, even on world class, the computer just does like the most stupid plays imaginable. Oh no, come on, stop him. Good save by the Lithuanian keeper. Gonna be a corner to France with about just over five minutes to play. Can they get the goal? Hopefully not. Crossed in, headed away by Lithuania. Come on, push up field. And that's gonna be it. Again, another dull, boring match. I really do apologize. This is just. I, I mean, this is sort of like the territory that comes with playing these games and recording them, right? When you do them, you know, you don't know what's going to happen. You might get the most insane run imaginable. Or you just might get a load of dull results. And here we have. But we're still, surprisingly, on track to qualify. Alright then, with a few games to play, I think about four games, this is how the table is looking like. So Republic of Ireland now are four points clear of us and it's because we keep dropping uh, games, you know, the three draws that we got. We got zero losses, which is great, but the three draws have really hurt us, especially the one against Liechtenstein at the start of the gameplay. That really would have damaged a lot of the gameplay. We could have had 21 points, for example, but we got a game in hand on France, so we could snatch the second place spot away from them. Let's just check in with Malta quickly. Oh, they're only a point behind Sweden, but they're in a, well, they're still in a really good position. They are like six points ahead of Albania, and Malta could still qualify for this World Cup with a few more decent results, and I really hope they do. Our next match then is away from home against Portugal. A must win game in order to try and catch up Republic of Ireland and overtake France. Because France and Lithuania seem to be having a little bit of a battle for that second place position. My goodness, like it's 45 minutes in. We've only had like maybe zero shots. I'm not even kidding. 45 minutes in, we've had zero shots. Lithuania are the most boring team in Europe. <laughs> Consistent and pretty good defensively, but super boring. I think the gameplay with 2006 is just so sort of wooden that you can't really do anything special on it. 
And I do like like this game, don't get me wrong, but out of the three World Cup games that I play consistently across the channel, it has to be the worst in terms of action and stuff like that. Unless the computer makes the game more interesting. I know, that's just my opinion. A lot of people might say, well, you, you don't play the PS2 version, you don't play the Xbox original version. I did try to get it, but I just couldn't get it working with my xbox sadly i will get another copy in the future just to see if that will work crossed in portugal header it off the top of the bar oh that was close no get out oh good save all right the computer decided to throw something in the mix to make it more interesting my goodness this has been a very poor showing from both of these sides portugal did hit the bar with a random header but that's about it couldn't even do anything here and that nearly went straight in but yeah again another terrible terrible match in terms of action and everything i just think that either it's me or lithuania are the most boring team on this game <laughs> i mean i've tried other nations on this game and i've done pretty okay with them andorra is our next match away from home we desperately need to win this one we're level on points for france with the same amount of games played we start dropping games france are definitely gonna win more than us and obviously go ahead in that second place position i think first place is out of our reach because republic of ireland have just won a lot of games cross this one in header and that's gone in nice good header and Cessnauskas has scored to make it 1-0 to Lithuania brilliant great header and he did it from sort of well the center spot really so yeah that was quite far out but still tipped in by the Andorra keeper as well it's one in with Lithuania good headering opportunity and that nearly went in it's probably the best game we've had in a good I don't know, sort of five games that we played so far. Through ball. Go on. Off the post. <laughs> I tried to make it as easy as possible for me to score there. He still hits the post. And Dora just playing around with the ball here. Just not doing an awful lot. But hello. Good football from Andorra. Maybe I was wrong. They cross it in. And get rid of it. No. Oh my goodness. Really? Oh, Andorra scored in the 75th minute. And it's Riera. And that's the first goal we've conceded because I just couldn't get it rid of it. What was that kind of shot as well? He literally just like stamped near the ball pretty much. And it just went in. Look, he was just like, yep, stamp in. This is like, what? How does that even go in? Out of all the teams to peg me back, it had to be Andorra, didn't it? To score a random goal out of nothing. Oh, wow. Okay, that's got to be a red card, surely. Only a yellow? Marcio, come on. Look at this challenge. You can't tell me that's not a red card challenge. Oh, Andorra, really? Oh, there's a bit of a bust up here now. Lithuania kind of feel that they probably have bottled their chance to qualify. This is not a good result at all. Go on. This might be it. Please score. Oh my god, he saved it. Oh, <laughs> Lithuania don't want to score more than one goal. It's confirmed. They just don't want to do it. Oh, there we go. There's the full-time whistle. Lithuania dropped a stinker. That was terrible. Oh my god. They just don't want to score more than one goal. I tried my hardest to score a second goal, but their keeper was really good. Look, we had nine shots. Eight on target, one goal. Ah, uh, <laughs> what more can you do? So checking out our group for the last two matches of this group. And between Republic of Ireland, France and Lithuania, there's only four points in it. So there's still a chance for Lithuania to do it if they can beat the Republic of Ireland and Hungary in their last two matches. So yeah, hopefully we can do it. If not, then that would be very disappointing. Is Malta confirmed qualifying? Oh, okay. Um, they've still got 15 points, but Albania and Bulgaria have somehow caught them up, and Sweden have overtaken them as well. And what about this group? Ah, oh, Czech Republic have pulled away a little bit more, haven't they? Look at that. 
Yeah, I mean, I think looks like it's going to be the Netherlands and Czech Republic. Luxembourg did pretty well, to be honest. Um, but yeah, no, just falling short there, unfortunately. Here we go then. This is a pivotal match. It's against Republic of Ireland here. And um, if we lose, then we'll just fall away from that um, top spot at least. The second place spot probably will be up for grabs, but it'll come down to the final day. But we desperately need to win or draw. A draw is acceptable, but at the same time, I really want to win. They are top of the group, so I think they're going to cause some real problems. But knowing how the run has gone so far, it's been very, very, very um, lukewarm, I'd say. Through ball. Denevikius. Is there a chance? No, I couldn't turn, but hang on. It's gone in. Yes. Republic of Ireland messed up and Denevikius has scored to make it 1-0. Come on. Come on. Alright, now this is where Lithuania go right. We've we've done enough now. That's all we need to do. <laughs> and we're not going to score any more goals. The only team that has managed to score against us in this campaign is Andorra. So that's very impressive. But on the other side of it, slightly embarrassing because we let Andorra score against us. But hey, you know, Andorra are just goaded, I guess, for getting past my brick wall of a defence. Corner to Lithuania then. Let's see what we can do. And cross this one in. Sesnauskas. Header. Oh, again, a good save by Shea Given. The headering on this game is so overpowered. It almost feels arcadey at times. Crossed in. Ireland. Oh, oh, my. How are you letting that in? Robbie Keane has just scored a header like that. It literally just P-rolled in. Like, I'm fairly sure a statue could have saved that. I'm fairly sure a statue, if you put a if you put a statue in net, it would have saved that. What is that? What was that? Let's have a look at that one more time. Literally outside the box, the ball's rolling. You could literally just get your, get your body behind it and catch it. And the keeper does that. For a ball. How are France being hungry 5-0? Go on. Oh, shade given. Oh, that's so annoying. Go on. Cross that in. Header. Oh, good save by Given. I don't think he knew too much about that. Go on. Oh, what are you doing? What is it? <laughs> what are you doing? You blocked the shot. Through ball. Come on, I need a cross. Absolutely need a cross here. Not the one I'm looking for, but hold on. No. Well, it looks like here we're going to draw against the Republic of Ireland again. We just cannot score two goals a match against anyone. I don't think I've had a run like this in such a long time where we just can only score one goal a game. That really does suck, and I do apologise. Oh, wait, what? Okay, I've been eliminated. The game's just like, nope, sorry, you've got one more game elimination. What? <laughs> okay... Okay, fair enough. <laughs> That's our own fault, really. We just couldn't get it done. We had eight shots, and again, and again, we just could not get the second goal. Against any opposition, we just couldn't do it. It really did suck. Like, Lithuania, they didn't lose a single game throughout that entire qualifying campaign and still got eliminated because they drew too many games. So yeah, we have been mathematically eliminated from World Cup qualifying. As you can see, France smashed Hungary 5-0 and that put them top of the table. Republic of Ireland, with that draw, they go ahead of us by four points. So even if we win our last game against Hungary, which we're going to do in a second, well, hopefully win anyway, then the run will be over regardless of what we do. All right then, so this is a nothing game, really. And I bet you, now that Lithuania don't need to do anything, I bet you they'll score like three goals or whatever. You know, it's either going to be like a 3-0 or just standard 1-0, maybe, I don't know. Let's uh, see if we can get a last win for this campaign here against Hungary. It doesn't matter too much. Crossed in. Oh, I couldn't get the head on that one. It's going to be a corner to Lithuania. Again, we just struggle. We just struggle to score goals. It really does annoy me. Crossed in. Header. And good save by Kirillai in goal there. Good ball. 
Is there a chance for Lithuania? No! I even gave myself like a better angle and everything. And yet Kirillai just saves it. I don't know what to say. I'm just, just dumbfounded at Lithuania's ability not to score on this game. That was a ridiculous through ball. Lithuania from goal. 90th minute. No. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm so glad that we're not going to the World Cup on this kind of form. It's just not good enough. And that's it. We just drew nil-nil. Great. Even though we had tons of shots, we just drew nil-nil. And, you know, honestly, if you really are having trouble sleeping, you can use this as a thing to use to make you to go to sleep. Because it really lacked excitement in this one. It just didn't have the formula that I really like in runs sort of thing it didn't have any drama and well it did have a little bit but it was quickly taken away from us so after failing to qualify for the world cup it actually doesn't simulate to the world cup at all so i don't know who actually qualified from each region or whatever so that's great isn't it <laughs> you know i mean it only goes up to october 2005 which was the last round of qualification so if you want to know who made it through and potentially made it to the playoffs or not italy went through and poland went to the playoffs i guess uh russia went through to the world cup and denmark went to the playoffs i think both unbeaten but denmark had more draws Azerbaijan came third. That's quite respectable. Scotland had a really stinky campaign. Only one win. That's really awful. Uh, in group, well, our group, we missed out by three points uh, just below France there in the end. So, yeah, too many draws for Lithuania. Too many draws. We went unbeaten, but it's just too many draws. In group four, Malta missed out on the playoffs by a single point. How heartbreaking is that? for Malta they were literally top they were literally top of the group and they just bottled it oh so unfortunate Malta in group five we have Turkey going through and Norway going to the playoffs I assume look at the gap between Norway and Kazakhstan um in group six England went through and uh, Switzerland I assume goes to the playoffs as well so yeah again England have a 12 point gap on Switzerland which is pretty big Especially with the calibre of teams in there as well. That's quite good. England went completely unbeaten in that group. Not even a single draw. Uh, Spain in that one almost went unbeaten. Had 27 points. Lost one game. Ukraine went to the playoffs. Greece missing out on goal difference there. Um, Bosnia and Austria not having a great campaign. And in the last group for Europe. The Netherlands went through. And the Czech Republic went to the playoffs so that was your run with Lithuania on the 2006 FIFA World Cup game I would say I hope you enjoyed it but I doubt it very much um, it, despite being unbeaten in this qualifying campaign the lack of goals really did hurt the run and um, I do apologize for that if it wasn't the most exciting run ever not every run can be super duper exciting and stuff but if you did somehow enjoy it then give it a like and subscribe keep it local as always and I'll see you again for the next video